Hi guys, it's April and today I wanted to give you a quick review on some gel pens that I got the great experience of trying out. And so I'm just going to give you all of my first thoughts over trying these gel pens and whether or not I think they're worth the investment. So a while back I was contacted about trying these Doodle Art Pro Professional gel pens and I couldn't say no. I haven't used gel pens a lot in my coloring but I figured why not give it a try? I mean the color range looked pretty epic and I wanted to try something a little different than markers that I normally use just so I could be better informed when you guys ask me questions about what kinds of utensils are best for what kind of coloring books. So I instantly said yes to trying these out. These are a 1.0 millimeter glitter set of gel pens. There's 40 and they're in a wide range of color which I was really really excited about. So when I got this pack, this is currently empty right now because it's, it's a thing, but when I got this pack there was two packs inside of it. They're not in the order that they came in. I have a tendency to like to organize things by color and as you can tell, I did that here. There's a specific reason why they're out of order up here. These are the ones I am currently using in a project, which I will show you for this review. But otherwise, I just put them in a color order because I wanted to know what colors there were. It is really, really nice, the color range options that they have in these sets. However, some of them are really, really close to each other, so I wonder if there could have been a slight bit more of a variance of what was offered. But overall, there is a pretty decent set of color options. Now, all of these are very, very vivid, so you're not going to get any of the muted tones. So anything you color is going to be pretty much smack you in the face with color, which is nice if you're doing patterns and things like that. You're just not going to get a very realistic color palette if you're going more for that. Now, of course, my favorite colors to use of were these pinks. Now, like I said, it's a 1.0 millimeter. It seems to color fairly well. Every once in a while, it gets a little bit clogged up and, you know, you have to get a little aggressive with it. But overall, it's a very nice experience. The color goes on smoothly and there is a lot of glitter in these things. I mean, a lot of glitter, which isn't a bad thing if that's what you want, but I found for me, sometimes when I was coloring, it was hard to see what I was doing blending wise because the light was just reflecting off in a very awkward way, so I couldn't tell where my colors were going. But if you're not doing weird things like I normally do, it works fairly well. Now, I first started coloring this. this Beautiful, beautiful thing. As you can see, I tried to do some blending. It blends out really, really well. I don't know how the colors are picking up on the camera right now, but everything is extremely vivid, which is nice. The color payoff is beautiful. Some of them are a little more translucent than I would like, but it is a gel pen, so I can't really fault it for that. And for a heavier cardstock paper, it doesn't go through at all. As you can see, there's no bleed through, but you do get a very, very nice, heavy color payoff. As you can see, it is very glittery. I like it. I like it a lot if that's what you want to go for for something like this. However, if you get a thinner coloring page like this one right here, you're going to start to notice that, yeah, you're, you're gonna get a little bit of bleed through. It didn't go all the way through. It just, you started to see it come through there. This is a picture I'm still working on right now. This is, these are the colors that I had pulled in the other pouch. I'm dying to know what this one is. This is neither here nor there, but I'm dying to know what this picture is. Overall, I do enjoy using these gel pens. I don't know how often I would personally use them because there, there is a lot of glitter in them and I do have a tendency to accidentally drag my hand through still wet gel pen ink. I'm really bad at doing things in a logical order. I'm one of those people who I see something over here I want to do, I see something over here that I want to do, and that doesn't always end well when the ink doesn't dry extremely quickly. <laughs> it isn't a long dry time, 
but it's still a bit of a, a weight if you don't want to completely smear it across the page. So overall, I did enjoy using these gel pens. I like the color range. It is very smooth going down on the paper. There was some times where the pens would clog up on me and there's some of the colors that are a little more translucent for my taste. As for using them to color in coloring books, I say go for it. They're fun to use, they're fun to experiment to see how they blend or if they blend or see how bright and vivid the colors you can get. And if you are interested in checking these pens out for yourself, I will leave the link down below. And now I am going to go and I'm going to finish this coloring page because I need to know, I need to know. I will document my adventures with the rest of this coloring page on Snapchat if you want to follow it. And I heart your beautiful faces. Bye.